so first thing span they have given span 6 meter okay so first thing we are going to calculate the cross sectional area of the beam so cross sectional area a 2.4 into 10 raised to 5 400 by 600 mm and section modulus 2.4 into 10 raised to 7 already i have told you how to get the value of section modulus bd square by 2 sorry bd square by 6 okay we'll get the value b is width of beam d is depth of beam so 300 into 600 square by 6 we'll get the section modulus in a mm cube and cross sectional area b into d so we'll get this one so first thing we are going to calculate stress distribution for the end section see end section means what mid section means when we are going to cut the beam when you are going to cut the beam at center that is mid section okay and end section means we are going to calculate stresses at end of the beam so when you are going to consider the end at the stresses at end section of the beam so stress distribution for end section end section like an are direct stresses and second is a moment eccentric moment p into e due to eccentricity so p by a direct stress if you are going to put value here p by a and plus minus p e by z why plus at top and minus at bottom because stress and eccentricity is like this so beam moment is going to create like this and beam is going to bend the beam kaisa bend ho raha hai beam is going to bend like this due to that eccentricity so if beam is going to bend like this the compression is at top tension is at bottom okay so that's why here you have to consider plus and minus here why we are not consider m by z कोणी सांगेल मला आन्सर वाय वी आर नॉट कन्सिडर हियर एम बाय झेड ओनली वी हॅव वी हॅव कन्सिडर वी हॅव कन्सिडर हियर पी इंटू ई बाय झेड वाय वी आर नॉट कन्सिडर एम बाय झेड हियर कोणी सांगेल मला आन्सर आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स एनी वन मोमेंट झिरो असते राईट करेक्ट वन कोण सांगितलं आन्सर सूरज नव suraj now like correct because at end section it is simply supported beam you people know if beam is simply supported okay bending moment due to external load at end is always zero so that's why here we are not consider m by z but if the moment end la kutli enar hai if the moment enar hai eccentricity mul ye je cable ani center of action the eccentricity hai e e onar eccentricity ani hai force yacha mule moment tar nar hi moment तर ही मूवमेंट पी इंटू ई वी हॅव कन्सिडर ऍट एन सेक्शन अँड दॅट व्हॅल्यू यू हॅव पुट हिअर फोर्स इन टू इसेंट्रिसिटी सो वी हॅव गॉट द स्ट्रेसेस ऍट टॉप सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाय अँड बॉटम टू पॉइंट झिरो नाईन ऍट टॉप इट इज कॉम्प्रेशन दॅट्स वाय इट इज प्लस ऍट बॉटम इट इज टेन्शन इन टेन्शन सो दॅट्स वाय इट इज निगेटिव्ह हिअर वी हॅव कन्सिडर ओके नाव सेक्शन ऍट मिड सेक्शन मिड मिड स्पॅन सेक्शन आता आपण इथलं काढलं तर इथले स्ट्रेसेस आपल्याला वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट स्ट्रेसेस ऍट मिड सेक्शन so what happens section at mid section you are you are going to consider so in the, this case now at center we have to calculate the moments ata moment kadache kutle due to point load a point load ala ita so point load mole moment tumhala maithe wl by 4 okay wl by 4 so w is a point load 160 length is 6 meter by 4 so this value bending moment is here maximum bending moment due to the concentrated load and this is due to loading okay dead load of the beam so dead load of beam they have given directly 6 can per meter so 6 wl this is wl square by 8 wl square by 8 because this is udl beam is going to bend and maximum bending moment at a center is simply subtracted beam so wl square by 8 so wl square by 8, this value so total bend external bending moment due to point load as well as due to udl here to 67 km okay so after getting the external bending moment next is the extreme stresses we have to calculate now while calculating the stresses here due to ex uh, external load and uh, point load we have to use the formula p by a minus plus p into e by z plus minus m by z okay so respective values if you are going to consider the moment here this is direct stress 
okay this is stress due to the eccentricity and this is stress due to bending moment okay so here we are we are dealing now eccentricity at this point so by considering the direct stress by putting the respective values of force eccentricity 100 mm here not eccentricity 50 mm please pay attention here eccentricity here आता बघा इसेंसिटी ये खाली जातो इथे इसेंसिटी असल्यामुळं फोर्स इथे आहे त्याच्यामुळे काय होणार आहे बेंडिंग मोमेंट वरच्या साइडला हे करायला बघेल त्याच्यामुळे काय याच्यामध्ये टेंशन ऍट टॉप अँड कॉम्प्रेशन ऍट बॉटम सो दॅट रिस्पेक्टिव्ह व्हॅल्यू ऑफ इसेंसिटी अँड द मोमेंट व्हिच यू हॅव कॅल्क्युलेटेड दॅट व्हॅल्यू यू हॅव टू पुट हियर ओके अँड देन वी हॅव गॉट वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट द स्ट्रेसेस सो स्ट्रेसेस स्ट्रेसेस ऍट टॉप मायनस प्लस सो मायनस प्लस ऍट टॉप and plus minus at bottom so if you are going to add, uh, add this all three you will get the answer 11.13 newton per mm square acha madhe kai doubt wala any doubt in this okay so this is about the stress concept next concept is a strength concept next concept is a strength concept so the strength concept so you can see here strength concept method first thing we have to calculate the c line shift of c line from p line last lecture already i have told you what is mean by c line what is mean by p line okay so first we have to calculate shift so if i am going to consider i am going to explain you people once again if this is beam if this is central axis okay p line suppose p line somewhere here suppose this is p line first we have to calculate shift of c line from p line je p line pasun c line kutha calculate karaycha tyasathi already we have seen a is equal to m by p formula we are going to use m by p is total moment and the stressing force so moment already we have calculated here 267 so 267 we have to convert that moment in newton mm and stressing force in newton so that value is 267 mm okay and eccentricity of that p line they have given 100 mm at center so this distance is 100 the shift of p line the p c line p position kithi shift zali hai 267 mm so obviously that line is going to shift this is 100 aja pudo kudu tari line shift over janar so this line is a c line okay so this line is a c line so shift of c line from p line this total distance he distance total apnala he kithi milala 267 mm 267 mm okay so after getting this distance to 67 already we have eccentricity of p line or tendon line that eccentricity is 100 mm and in formula we people know eccentricity of c line means e dash value we have to calculate so e dash value is nothing but the eccentricity of c line eccentricity of c line means the distance of c line from the central axis so this distance we want as is e dash so what will be this distance so obviously you can see this diagram so if you know this 267 minus 100 we will get the e dash so that's why e dash here they have written 267 minus 100 so that value is 167 and okay so this is how you people are going to get the value of e dash and formula is same in strength concept direct stress and stresses due to that eccentricity okay uh, c line eccentricity you have to put the values here p force area here p eccentricity which you have calculated e dash and section modulus so you will get the stresses compression at top tension at bottom because eccentricity at top okay a c line is stop from the central axis so it go, beam is going to bend like this due to that moment 
so compression at top tension is at bottom so if you are going to put the value here we are going to get the stresses at top 11.13 and minus 2.79 into per mm square and you can see the values which are calculated in a stress concept and values which are calculated in a strength concept is same okay so it's okay but which we have proved calculation which are done it is okay and last concept is here load balancing concept so in load balancing concept you people are aware we have to calculate the upward force due to the tendon due to that bent bent tendon and which is going to counteract to the external point load so already i have explained you people in previous problem also due to that bent tendon upward force whether i am audible to people कन्फर्म करा मैं कहीं संगता का ऑडियोबल है कि मैं हेलो यस ओके सो दिस ड्यू टू दिस बेंट एंडन व्हाट एपन द एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस सॉरी द रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस एंडन फोर्सेस इज गोइंग टू जनरेट एंड दोस फोर्सेस आर गोइंग टू काउंटर एक्ट टू दिस एक्सटर्नल फोर्स इन दिस केस दिस एक्सटर्नल फोर्स हियर 160 कैन okay and this here inclination with the line will be theta here and this force here if this is pre stressing force p in this line so this value is p sin theta and this is also p sin theta so addition of these two will be 2 p sin theta means upward forces and those upward forces these two going to counteract this 160 kn so this calculation we have we have to calculate okay so here 2 p sin theta that value we have to calculate so 2 p is force sin theta sin theta is front side divided by adjacent side tan sin theta we are going to consider as a uh, tan theta because value of sin theta is very small so tan theta is front side divided by adjacent side so front side here you can see in the problem this is 100 mm okay if i am going to consider this as a theta so front side this is 100 okay this this is 100 and this is 50 so total distance here so 150 so front side here 150 mm and the adjacent side adjacent side is a half of the total length so this is 3000 mm so 150 by 3000 mm so here total upward force is 100 km okay and the force is 100 km here so total point load uh, net downward point load here 160 minus 100 100 is a 2 p sin theta upward force which you have calculated so net downward load is a 60 kn here okay and now we have to calculate the bending moment in load balancing concept so wl by 4 this bending moment due to the point load so total net downward force even the problem they have given 160 kn tumhi manal ki sir 160 kn to dilela hai problem madhe wl by 4 tumhi the 60 ka geta hai baron 60 ka geta hai we are considering here net downward load due to this bent tendon the upward component forces of that uh, due to that uh, uh, tendon bent tendon the intensity of that downward force is going to reduce okay this 2p sin theta force is going to counteract and that that force is going to reduce the total upward force and that intensity 60 only we are going to consider So W L by four is this, and W L square by eight total load on beam they are given six length six meter. So W L square by simply sort maximum moment at the center. So bending moment at center here total one one seven kN meter. Okay, and additional bending moment due to the load at the end. 
म्हणजे ह्याच्यामध्ये काय होणार आहे की ह्याच्यामुळं या एंडला जे आलेलं आहे इथं ह्याच्यामुळे एक्स्ट्रा मुवमेंट पण ऍड होणार आहे ह्याच्यामध्ये आणि ती मुवमेंट किती कन्सिडर करायची तुम्हाला सो हिअर यू वी हॅव टू ऍड दॅट मुवमेंट बेंडिंग मुवमेंट ड्यू टू इसेंट्रिसिटी ऑफ लोड वन हंड्रेड सॉरी थाउजंड के एन फर्स्ट इन टू इसेंट्रिसिटी फिफ्टी एम एम सो दॅट फिफ्टी के एन मीटर मुवमेंट वी हॅव टू ऍड सो टोटल मुवमेंट हिअर बेंडिंग मुवमेंट हिअर वन सिक्स्टी सेव्हन के एन मीटर ओके अँड वेन यू आर गोईंग टू ऍड दॅट टोटल मुवमेंट हिअर वन सिक्स्टी के एन अँड वेन यू आर गोईंग टू यूज द फॉर्म्युला डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेसेस प्लस बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेस बिकॉज एट टॉप विल बी हिअर इन कॉम्प्रेशन बॉटम ऑफ बीम इज इन टेन्शन सो इफ यू आर गोईंग टू पुट द व्हॅल्यूज ऑफ डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस ऍज वेल ऍज द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेस फॉर बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस बेंडिंग ऑन टोटल बेंडिंग मुवमेंट वी आर गोईंग टू गेट द ऍन्सर्स ऍट स्ट्रेसेस ऍट टॉप प्लस वन वन पॉइंट इलेव्हन पॉइंट वन थ्री अँड मायनस टू पॉइंट सेव्हन नाईन अँड धीस ऍन्सर ऑल्सो सेम विच ऍन्सर्स वी वेअर वी वेअर कॅल्क्युलेटेड इन स्ट्रेंथ कन्सेप्ट अँड इन अ स्ट्रेस कन्सेप्ट ओके सो इलेव्हन पॉइंट वन थ्री हिअर टू पॉइंट सेव्हन नाईन हिअर ऑल्सो इलेव्हन पॉइंट वन थ्री टू पॉइंट मायनस टू पॉइंट सेव्हन नाईन सो धीस हाव यू आर गोईंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लेम वेन they have given eccentricity at end also the eccentricity then is fakt center la dili ekade eccentricity zero dili so that problem we have solved in last last lecture today we have seen the problem where they have provided the eccentricity at center as well as they have given the eccentricity at the edges also kala problem ancha the 